Let me thank you all for coming. My name is Tom Price. I represent the 6th District of Georgia. joined by my colleagues and our special guests and you American Patriots. Yeah! We, are, we are here today to bring focus and voice to the concerns of the American people about this bill. Yeah! For a house call on Washington. Yeah! majority of this bill. And I've got a diagnosis. And it's legislative malpractice. Now the good news is that there are positive solutions. Because as you know, we are blessed to live in the greatest nation in the history of the world. and from the rule of law and from the American people, yes. not politicians. Yes. That greatness comes from an adherence to fundamental American principles. Principles that respect life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Principles that most Americans believe are being ignored today by the folks here in charge in Washington. here today as together we voice our concern about the prospect of Pelosi health care takeover bill. Every single day that our conference meets and every day that the House of Representatives meets, we appropriately begin in prayer. And so I'm pleased to introduce Pastor Paul Clark from the All Saints Episcopal Church in Maryland. Pastor. Let us pray. Almighty God, giver of all good things, we thank you for the natural majesty and beauty of this land. They restore us. We thank you for the great resources of this nation. They make us rich. We thank you for the men and women who have made this country strong. They are models for us. We thank you for the torch of liberty which has been lit in this land. It has drawn people from every nation. We thank you for the faith that we have inherited in all of its rich variety. It sustains our life. Help us, O oh Lord, to finish the good works begun here, strengthen our efforts to blot our ignorance and prejudice, and hasten the day when all our people, with many voices, and in one united chorus, will glorify your holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you all for being here. From the storm-tossed pilgrims who came to this land and gave America her first constitution, to George Washington and his troops who miraculously escaped from Long Island in the fog, to the old skeptic Ben Franklin who called for prayer at the Constitutional Convention, Americans have understood that we get into tough times, the things that we do naturally is to call on God. This was recognized and in 1954 was added to our Pledge of Allegiance. These words, one nation under God. Those words were taken from the Gettysburg Address delivered by President Lincoln. And they were first delivered publicly on the steps of the U.S. Capitol, June 1954, by President Eisenhower. And so as we now renew our commitment to the red, white, and blue, let us with boldness proclaim the fact that we are one nation under God. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this, and it drives the liberals crazy. <laughs> Join us. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America. 
America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. is 